Hi everyone, this is part two of my sketchbook supercut video. I've compiled all of my sketchbook tours since like the beginning of 2018 to the present day. And this is part two that starts at 2020. So if you wanna start with the more recent stuff, you can watch this video or you can go to part one to see all of my other sketchbook tours from 2018 to the end of 2019. There's a lot of content. You can binge watch these, put it on in the background and see my total sketchbook progression and it's kind of cool to see how my art improves as we go on. So I hope you enjoy, sit back, relax, and watch me flip through all my sketchbooks. Hi everyone, so this is going to be another sketchbook tour. I started this a couple months ago. I decorated the cover in the back and I tried to like personalize it because um, it had like a logo on the front. It said Canson and there were like orange stripes and I just wanted to cover it with my own sort of design I guess. I made a video of me decorating this but this video will be me flipping through it and showing you what I did inside of this sketchbook. In the first few pages I'm not, I don't know, I feel like I get more into it as it goes on. Um, there's a lot of like scribbling around and like not really drawing very um, cohesive looking things. So this was just a frog I drew at the beginning for some reason. I don't really remember if there was like a specific reason I did that, I don't know. These are thumbnails trying to figure out Inktober stuff. I started this mid-October, so it's about time it's finished. It's pretty small too, I don't know why it took me this long. So Inktober thumbnails, just like a doodle I did. Um, this was for Wild, Ornament, Misfit, stuff like that. Um, more Inktober thumbnails, just some like random pen doodles. Just scribbling stuff out, trying to just warm up and practice my comfort zone stuff or maybe things I'm not too comfortable with and I just put Posca pen in the background of the sketches. This is um, just a drawing of one of my plants and some weird plant Pikmin. They're, they kind of look like Pikmin but with the, the pilia leaves on top of their head. Um, and this is a sketch of my dog using some Posca pen, some gouache, just like a lot of me in my sketchbook is me laying down color without really caring caring, and then trying to kind of pull something out of it that's salvageable and not really planning anything, which I think is kind of... I don't know if that's a good thing or not because I don't really care what I'm doing the whole time. And if it works out, it does, and if it doesn't, most of it doesn't, and then I just kind of move on. A dog sketch. Very reflective, there we go. Just like a from a photo study, practicing pencil strokes. Some Crayola sketches of these creatures I, I was trying to draw for like a Patreon journal page thing, which is a series that I do. Um, just like a gray Crayola, those are pretty um, fun to use, just Crayola markers. Some thumbnails for class of a uh, setup that I was trying to figure out how I wanted to draw. Um, and some more thumbnails, some value sketches, again with that gray Crayola marker because Crayola markers are, are pretty fun to use. Um, some really loose Crayola sketches, nothing too special here. Just taking up big areas of paper with not really much detail at all. Same sort of thing, glued that in, not really much on this page. Um, so I wasn't really feeling the sketchbook that much and I wasn't really inspired to like sketch nice looking things. These are all glued in. Um, I wasn't, I was never really happy with these because the colors I got I didn't really enjoy working with. Why did I just outline the lips? Um, because it came in a sketch box and I don't know, like the marker colors just weren't really inspiring me and there were no light colors. I just am not a fan of having limited marker colors. It doesn't inspire me that much. Um, this was also planning for another Patreon thing. Another journal page, you can see how close together this was, like a month apart. Um, I barely did anything because I was just doing assignments the whole time. A mouse sketch. Um, I like the face of this one. I think that's an interesting style that I want to play with, definitely. I want to focus more on um, drawing things like more exaggerated, I guess, in ways that um, make me excited to draw it. Wrinkles. I did a lot of wrinkle studies in this because I was just, I really wanted to learn to do wrinkles better, so a lot of these are just copied from photographs, drawings of other people that I found on Pinterest or just like Google images. Um, so I just use it to practice from. I was drawing stuff around me. 
just observational drawing practice filled in the background and it makes it look so much more fun. Um, I was just drawing some outfits I wanted to focus. I was still kind of focusing on fabric and stuff. Um, so very loose sketches, trying to like break the way I like step out of the way I usually draw stuff. Um, it's funny because this is a bathing suit, but it looks like it's coming from her, but it makes no sense. Not a huge fan of these pages at all. Where I just like got too messy and careless with the markers and just let it get really muddy. Um, this is just a scribble on top of a, another scribble on top of something that didn't work out. And this is like a print of the first initial scribble. I just drew a random thing on top of it. Um, there'll be pages like this that are just, you did it just for the sake of putting stuff on paper. This was a Boston? No, French Bulldog. And I thought it looked really scary at first because the way I drew it. Um, I kind of like the breakup of like the sketch and this and the yellow and the different qualities of stuff and I like that face down there, not this face, that's messed up. I don't like when I draw faces like this. I don't enjoy this style, I don't enjoy the way that looks. Um, I do like this one, but not that one or this one. Um, I want to fix that. There's something about it that I don't like that I've, every time I draw it I'm like what is it about this that I don't like very much and I know it's like the shape of the face and the way it plays the features. I can't explain it. But I do like the layout of this page and the colors and how everything looks. Some more fold practice. Um, I just kept like copying photos and trying to like remember what certain folds look like. So I can be a little bit more specific when I draw clothing. More fold practice that I ruined with markers and tons of fold practice with pencil and I did markers behind it and also some shoe practice and just fabric just trying to like brush up on all that kind of stuff because I think it can look really cool if you do it right and if you do it in a convincing way and I want to be able to do that so that's why I focus so much on that and I, I, I want to do more I want to learn it better because already on this page you can see I'm just like scribbling the folds and not being specific with anything so that's something I want to work on and I think I'll always be working on it um blob drawings so it's just I did a bunch of marker blobs and then tried to make something out of the shape I tend to do the same thing over and over, so doing it kind of helps me find new ways of turning the blobs into stuff. I don't know. I remember being like really art blocked this day. I didn't know what to draw. Um, so I did like a scribble and I tried to make it into something and I made it into this fish with a tree on its head, which is like, I don't know. I feel like you see that a lot, things with trees on them, but it was still fun to draw. I didn't end up turning that into anything. And this is really cool washi tape I got from a stationery store. And um, I was watching Graveyard Girl on YouTube and she was unboxing like these crazy tall shoes that you can't even really walk in. Like you'll break your ankle if you try. Um, and a fish sandal. So I was just like sketching that while I watched her. Feeling a little bit uninspired, kind of art blocked. Not really blocked. This is after I watched Frozen 2 and I really wanted to draw horses um, and Elsa. And it doesn't look like Elsa at all. but. Um, I just wanted to explore that concept and some other things that you will only recognize if you've seen the movie. This was for a video, um, just odd anatomy here, I don't enjoy that. Um, but I had fun with the colors and like kind of pulling things out of the page and adding color to push them back and trying not to outline everything. Just letting myself be messy and not worry too much about how it looks. And this as well. Um, there's always things I change, but it's a sketchbook, so I don't really care that much. Oh, I got really into drawing boars? Or are they warthogs? No, they're boars. But I got really into drawing them, and I want to do something with that. I just like their teeth, and the way their faces are shaped, and they're a bit more, like, angry looking, but they can also be really cute. Um, I just started to want to draw them more. I don't know why, but it just kind of happened. Um, some faces from reference that I tried to follow really closely. Um, I think I learned a, uh, a lot doing that. And I kind of messed it up with the markers behind it, but you live and you learn. I kind of like this page. Um, I like this sort of... I, I like the way I drew that face and this face. Um, I think the style is more what I want, and I like that too. Um, I hated this, so I filled it in. But I wish I did something on top, because I think this would have been a cool 
collage looking page. I want to do more pages like this where I have different elements on it because it just, I just like that. It just makes me feel more inspired when I see a layout on a sketchbook page that I like the way it looks. Um, I know it doesn't really matter because it's a sketchbook, but it just makes me want to use it more and it can actually help with composition skills also because you're making a spread that looks interesting and it looks interesting because it has a, a pleasing composition. Oh, and this was a bunch, of, a bunch of hand studies. I always do this every once in a while. I need to get better at hands and just be more thoughtful when I draw them and not just kind of place down a, a generic hand shape. Drawing more specific hands can be um, really rewarding and it can add a lot to your art. So that's why I practice them a lot. And they're not really, they can be a bit tedious to practice, but. Um, this was a donut. I don't know if this was in front of me. This was in front of me. This was my water bottle lid. Just like crudely drawn. That looks like it's some Disney girl pig thing. I don't, I don't know why it looks so weird to me. More pigs and boars and stuff like that. Um, this was planning for a video that, don't know if it would be out yet when you see this, but maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I had a specific look I was going for and I didn't really like, I ended up changing my mind a lot, but this was more sketches for that and this was added on later. I like the style of um, these faces, I don't mind them. Um, I don't mind that either. Like I think I started to kind of break it in more and kind of have more fun near the end of the sketchbook. Probably because I just started a new semester, so it's like a fresh start. Um, things in front of me that I drew with a big brush marker, which is so much fun to do. Like this sort of face, I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy this face. Oh, this was um, drawn from another artist's art. It was just a study from it. I kind of like added stuff onto it, but I liked the glasses and I just wanted to see if I could replicate the anatomy. Lots of big brush drawing stuff, which is a lot of fun to do. Um, this was in front of me, this was in front of me, I think that was in front of me, it was like a crayon box, water bottle, hands, stuff like that. Oh, and a little elephant, probably from Google Images or Pinterest. Um, I just like to have things to see to draw and then also balance that with like doing it from memory and just creating your own stuff. I like to have a balance. More brush pen animals. It's really fun to use a brush pen for that. I really like this page. I. Um, it started off with like really weird anatomy and it still kind of does. You can see me like I keep carving into the arm and like that's where the arm should stop and like the shirt doesn't quite work and it's not perfect but I like the texture and the contrast that it has and I want to kind of bring this sort of scratchy um, dry brush stuff maybe into my other uh, my future sketchbook and into my work a little bit more. Oh, I was drawing my dog from reference and from memory. Colored in the background as normal. I was sketching out a fish tank plan, um, just drawing some plants from a fish tank. Like this sort of face, I don't know, I don't know what it is about it. Like obviously the, the chin is really weird, but I don't like the way I drew, I don't know, I, there's something I need to fix in my brain <laughs> that makes me draw things this way. Like to some people, they might look at that and really like it, but I don't. I don't know what it is. Here's a page of animals that I sketched. Pretty quickly, I like those, these little guys here and the dog is kind of funny. I really love drawing animals. I just really, I really like it. Um, they're just so interesting. There's so many of them. I just like the, the feeling they give things because they're just like, they're animals. They're not people. They're a lot different. Um, tons of betta fish, shrimp, sketches, um, a fish girl, I think. <laughs> and more fish on the back, kind of like a rushed page to be honest. I'm just like very eager to get out of this sketchbook and the back of it has this frog. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. It um, took me too long to finish this, to be honest. I hope my next one, I will fill faster and be more enthusiastic about it, but I do have a busy months coming up. I don't know. I shouldn't put too much pressure on myself about that. So as always, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you haven't and check out my Patreon where I post sketches like this. Um, throughout the month that you can see before you see them on YouTube or Instagram or even at all. You can see sketches I don't really show anywhere else. I really hope you enjoyed this. Let me know how your sketchbook is going if you are keeping one at the moment and I'll see you in my next video. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour. I've had the sketchbook for so long. I 
I didn't really like sketch a lot in 2020. I just like was preoccupied with other things and I had a lot of school assignments and just like, you know, 2020 was a really weird year because of everything that happened. Um, usually I like to finish sketchbooks within a couple of months, but this took me over a year. I think I started this February of 2020. Um, and I, in my other video, I was talking about how I really didn't like this sketchbook and some people commented I got the wrong, I got the wrong one. Um, cause there's like a better version out there. This one isn't really like, it still says it's for art. Cause I actually have, I have another one. I think I like accidentally bought two or something, but it's the Moleskine Art Collection sketch album. Um, and it's meant for ink and pencil. It's not really meant for what I was using it for. Um, so I won't be getting it again. I don't want to use this one, but I probably will. It wasn't actually this much. I got it on sale. So I'm going to just get started and start showing you everything. So sketchbook February 7, 2020. This is the first page. I'm not really happy with this sketchbook. Like I said, I just like wasn't, I wasn't really drawing at my best this year, but, and I honestly don't really remember what's in here, but I'm just going to flip through. I do like this page here with the shrimp. Um, I had a lot of fun drawing that. And this is just me playing with some pens. I think that was for a video. Not too sure. Some more of these pens. I actually had a lot of fun drawing these, I remember. I think it was for a video and it's when I got Rocky, my betta fish. Oh my gosh, that was 2020? Yeah, he died a while ago because he got a uh, dropsy, which is like when their body fills with fluid and they uh, it's like really sad and it just happens to fish. I think it might have been, it was just, he was a good fish though. I liked his coloring and I named him Rocky out of those, out, uh, after those rocket popsicles. Some frog sketches. This was me planning for the front. And this is what I ended up doing. Yeah, just a lot of pencil sketches. Um, some bird drawings. I was planning for a Patreon print. I think it was like Bird March. I don't really like the way that one turned out. I think it'd be fun to revisit that. Here's some paw prints from my dog that we put down last year. And this was like one of her last days. That's kind of sad that it's in this sketchbook. It's kind of like another reason why I just like didn't do a lot of a lot of art. Um, but these are her little, they're not very good paw prints um, because she just like, I didn't want to bother her too much because she was sick. Um, some more random doodles. Some chickens. What is this? Did I want to do like a rooster pin? I don't know. It's fun to look back at old things. Like look at this snake. What is that? It just has a little like, a little mouth with a tongue is like, what is that? Some more doodles. I don't really like most of these. They're just kind of like, eh, like this is so, this just has like no structure to it at all. Um, I believe I did this for class. It was for an elective and I was just like doing a like speed paint instead of a presentation or something just so I didn't have to like write a whole essay and like I don't know it was some some substitute for for what I um it was like some kind of I can't remember why I did drawings for it but I did <laughs> um this was also related to it I don't remember what this is for to be honest I did I drew with crayon though because I was like I'm gonna have fun with crayon um a waterfall but why? I don't remember what this project was. This wasn't for art class. This was for like some kind of like um, environmental philosophy or philosophy of the environment. I'm not sure. I like these little water fish. That could be cool to do a sticker pack out of them. Mental note. I like the way this one turned out. More of this. <laughs> a sheep farmer. I don't, I don't remember why. Pollution. Don't remember why. I like the way I did the clouds. Oh yeah, this was for April Colors. I haven't done... I think I attempted April Colors last year and I didn't really like get much done. But April Colors was fun. And this is when I realized like, oh, this isn't really for watercolor. And I was like, I don't like this sketchbook. <laughs> oh, this was a fun little video. What was this? I think this was for... 
some box, some sketch box, and I was trying out the supplies and it came with like pencil. Some more random doodles. You could tell I wasn't really like into drawing. This is for a video, a uh, shape challenge. You draw like a shape and try to make a drawing out of it. That's always fun. I like the way this sketch turned out. It's like very cartoony. And using this little pen to draw is pretty fun. Um, this was for Inktober? No, this was like a prompt thing that I don't do anymore. Um, that I got suggestions from people and I put it in a jar and then I did it. Where, where did I actually draw that though? I don't know where the actual drawing for that is. Is this it? That's not it. This is like for Inktober or something. No, it's just a spider witch. Oh, a spider plant. This was for a spider plant, so I turned her into like a spider plant witch. I don't really know. I think her hair is supposed to be like the spider plant babies. This was for, um, this was for mermaid. I think I painted that one over digitally and it's in my like mermaid book. It will be on my, available on my shop again soon. Some random animal doodles. This was take a drawing you don't like and make it into a character you enjoy. Um, I think I flipped back in the sketchbook and found a drawing I didn't like and then I tried to draw it in a way that I liked. And I like the way she turned out. Um, I like this sketch of her. I think it's kind of cool. Pouty like princess. Birds with staffs. Birds with staffs. You gotta love a good bird with staff with a staff. I like this guy. <laughs> I like that one. I should turn that into something. I feel like I was just drawing... Um, I don't know. I feel like at the moment I don't really like the way I'm sketching. <laughs> like in later in the book. Another shape challenge. And this was from a sketch box, I'm pretty sure. I just made like a page of stuff. Some more sketches. I think I was using my pocket brush pen, but it's out of ink now. I had refills for it and I don't know where they are. Um, a dragon I drew randomly. Like th these are like very sporadic months apart because I just like wasn't drawing. That's a really messed up squirrel. Um, she has a mask. I guess that's cool. I don't know. Oh, I do like this page. I think this page is really cute. <laughs> Little turtles. This was inspired by a sticker I have, like another artist did something that kind of looked like this, so I drew some other things that reminded me of it. I don't know whose sticker it is though. Oh, this is drawings of my puppy when we first got her. The second, uh, the dog that we got last year. Her name is Olive and she was like very little, so I was drawing her. Very cute dog. She's a very chaotic dog now. She's almost one. This is a project I did for school. It's just like observing stuff around you um, and then taking all of these things and making like a drawing, like a narrative sort of story out of it. This was planning for my comic. Um, I guess you can pause and read if you want, but it's also just on my Instagram, like the finished one. So if you want to see like where what that turned into. Lots of planning for that. Um, thumbnailing. I had a lot of fun with this. I think I, I, I kind of shot myself in the foot though because when it came time to like finish the comic, I didn't leave myself enough time to color. I spent so much time on drawing and dialogue and like tweaking things and then I had no time to like actually finish it. So I, I'm not like super happy with the results, but it's okay. This was planning for my book that's gonna, I'm gonna print it this year, I hope. It's like the tentative title is The Smallest Path Lighter. I did it for a project for school. And um, this was a lot of the planning for it, the concept art, I guess you could call it. Just trying to decide what I wanted her to look like, the little little gremlin moth girl. It's supposed to be, she's supposed to be inspired by a moth. That's kind of the whole thing. Um, it was fun to plan all this out. Oh, and then I drew something upside down by accident. I like this page though. This was a sketch box, uh, I think, because yeah, I don't use charcoal. I'll use charcoal if, if it's up to me. <laughs> it's too messy. I just don't. Ugh. It's fun to use, but is it worth the mess? I don't know. 
I like this little cat. Oh, this is her. The Pathlighter girl. This is her when she's like tired or sad. This is just her like normally. I don't think she usually looks like that. Um, more sketches of her. Oh, these are more recent sketches. We're getting closer to the end, I think. My little stone dude that colored them. Some water drops. Some sketches. This page was um, for a video just warming up. Planning out a drawing. Got some, spilled some water on that. Little fox, little dog, some birds. Um, this was also planning for that. And I was trying to, I'm trying to design an enamel pin of a backpack bird and I just kept drawing them over and over and over. Trying to get the right shape and feel and I still don't know what I want it to be. Um, this was for a video recently where I took some sketch boxes and um, tried to do like a page with them. I like this cat, but I don't really, like this, it's like, doesn't have enough structure to it. And I don't know, it was fine. Like sketchbooks don't have to be, you don't have to love everything. That's the point. Um, I was drawing some animals and playing with like marker and watercolor, which is not meant for this, but it's kind of fun to just like see all the messiness. Um, trying to learn to draw animals better because their faces are difficult. They're still quite difficult to me but I think I'm getting better. Don't know what this was exactly. I was just testing more media, um, tried to make some drawings out of it. Drew some people playing with like texture and media. Nothing too serious, just like, just like doodling and messing around for the sake of like just making a mess with stuff on paper. I think I could draw more on it, but I'm so over this sketchbook that I'm just, I just wasn't motivated to like actually do tons of stuff. Um, Here's some more birds trying to just like figure out how I want to draw them. I kind of like these little doodles. I'm excited about my next sketchbook because I think I've gotten better at drawing in the last year. So I hope that my next sketchbook will just be really, really cool. That's what I'm hoping. But it, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. But I, I think doing like sketchbook print books is like, is really cool. And it might be fun to do that one day. To, if I have a nice sketchbook, or even not a nice one, and just do a print book of it. Um, I don't really know what this... Some animals I was drawing, a dog, a tiger, a vulture. I drew the rocket slime from Dragon Quest Heroes because I've been replaying Dragon Quest Hero Rocket. Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime, it's like the spinoff. This is the only Dragon Quest game I've played and it's all about slimes and rescuing slimes and it's so like, um underappreciated like nobody talks about this game but it's like probably my favorite game one of my favorite games at least from my childhood and I'm playing through it again now and it's just it's so charming I love it so much I have a plush of Rocket also I don't know anything about the Dragon Quest series except for this spin-off game and I think it's technically the second one because there's three but two of them never got released in English so this is like the second one so yeah some dog sketches playing with some other like this crayon that's water soluble, it's kind of weird. Gone in a sketch box. I was really over this sketchbook, so I wanted to save these loose sketches I found and just glue them in. These are from a life drawing class. These are from a life drawing class because when the model first gets all set up and stuff, you have to sketch out and plan what your composition will be. Because this was like a long painting, so I was trying to find a composition. I don't even know where the final painting for this is. It's huge. Like it was, it's just mostly, I see them as exercises. I don't really like see them as like portfolio pieces. Like this is all practice and learning how to paint and draw and compose stuff. And this is the last page. I don't, I was really over this sketchbook as you can tell. <laughs> um, and Moleskin always comes with this like booklet at the back. I don't think there's anything in here, yeah. So that is my sketchbook. Um, I feel fine about it. I'm excited to start my next one. I'm gonna be doing a video about that where I choose my next one and then draw in it for the first time. And I think that's going to be pretty fun. The first page of a sketchbook. Should I make it nice? Should I make it normal or bad? Um, thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this. There's a link in my description. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you have a sketchbook and if you finished any in 2020 because I did not 
I did not manage that. 2020 did not exist. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm doing a sketchbook tour. I think I started this sketchbook about three months ago and um, I, I got it a really long time ago. I think I got it last Christmas or two Christmases ago. Um, and I actually really like this sketchbook. I like that it's square. Um, I don't mind the spiral binding because then you can completely fold it around. Um, I think I explored a lot of stuff in this sketchbook. I tried to not be too perfect with it. Um, I'm a big believer of doing messy sketches and using your sketchbook to do experiments and to not worry about the way things look and just kind of do whatever. Um, a lot of my sketches are really messy. There's some nicer sketches. There's some bad sketches. Um, that's kind of how I approach a sketchbook. So I will show you all the pages. So the first page of the sketchbook, okay, it started in May. So I guess it's been about four months. I think I actually did a video on this starting the first page of my sketchbook. Um, I did some dinosaurs with gouache and pencil and stuff like that. Um, the second page, yeah, I think I did a lot more like involved sketches at the beginning and put more time into them. I had a lot of fun with this page, I remember. This was fun. Um, using pencil, crayon, and gouache together is, is a lot of fun. This is just mostly marker and felt tip pen. I got, I was in a snake phase back then. Um, some random birds. I don't really know what this is. Don't really remember. I was drawing sugar gliders and then I went crazy with, uh, I think, ohuhu markers, which are like, they're basically kind of like Crayola water based markers. I don't really know what this is. I think I was planning stuff. I'm not really sure. Some hedgehogs. I think I was planning out sticker designs or, or enamel pins or something. Not really sure what these are either. Just some like doodles, I guess. I could have filled these pages more, but I didn't. <laughs> I had fun with this page drawing dinosaurs. I don't know if this is a video or not. Um, and this I use like a cool line brush pen, some flowers, pencil crayon. This, this is mostly gouache, four leaf clover. This is a real four leaf clover. <laughs> Some fish drawings. This is my old beta fish that I had. I think I was drawing this for Patreon as like a Q&A image to post with the text. These pages are really empty. <laughs> I want to fill my pages more. Oh, I actually turned this into a sticker on my shop. It's this sticker. I turned the dinosaur into a sticker as well. Oh, this little frog holding a flower is cute. I like that. This is based off of a photo. A lot of um, the animals that are more realistic looking, I draw based on a photo that I found, like a reference, because I do that to practice. I like this little dinosaur. This pen is extremely shiny. Not a huge fan of this page, <laughs> really. Um, I think it was like midsummer during this and I had some ice cream, saw some birds. I was trying out some other styles where I block in paint and then do pencil crayon on top. Some geese that I saw, more ice cream inspired stuff. I actually turned all of these into stickers. I turned this one into a sticker, this one, and this one. So those are all stickers too. I had fun with these. I think I was playing a board game and I was making notes in the side. Um, sketch. I kind of like this page. I like this little snail. I saw this on Pinterest and I was like, that's a really cute snail. This is based off a photo. This is from Stardew Valley. I think it's like Wumpus or Wumpus or... Some more drawings. I think I was feeling a bit rusty on this page. Um, I was trying out this like outline pen that I found laying around my house where it's like metallic but then blue outline around the metallic. It's kind of strange. I think this was a note about my doctor because um, I was sick and I was trying to like figure out what was wrong. Oh, I forgot about this page. I liked um, the combination of the bright blue, 
the graphite and like the green highlighter. I'm pretty sure this green marker is just a highlighter. I I've been liking doing hatching with pencil crayons, like hatching in behind things with like any type of dry media. I've been having a lot of fun with that. I think I posted this on Instagram. I was just drawing some stuff from some references and from my own head, some dog drawings, trying to get better at drawing animals always. I like this one. That one turned out interesting. This one too. That one not so much. This was a gouache page. I wasn't really liking it and I like kind of painted in behind it. Drew these cats and just kept rendering it until I kind of was more happy with the result. I like the these dogs. This page was kind of fun. I, I kept messing up and I was like gluing stuff on top because I kept messing up. Just a bird drawing, a mouse holding a branch, random person. Like these kinds of pages aren't really my favorite because you can tell it was like rusty and I kept trying to draw things and it wasn't working and then I just ended up not really filling the page too much. Um, this page was kind of a similar thing and I just like filled the whole page with green watercolor because I accidentally spilled some and I wanted to use it on something but wasn't sure. This is supposed to be my dog but it doesn't really look like her at all. Yeah, not a huge fan of that. Yeah, I was like kind of art blocked in this time. I wasn't really sure what to do. Not a huge fan of this. I like these sketches and this is okay, but the rest is just kind of strange, I think. I wasn't really feeling it. Wasn't feeling it. I think I was like sick or something. I'm not sure. I don't mind this page so much. It's just like not a very good strawberry there. I started to feel a bit better on this page in terms of drawing. Um, just drawing a bunch of dogs from reference and trying to get better at it. I think this says I'm tired. Yeah, I think I was really tired when I did this page. I like this little guy. The way I stylized that, I like. I like this one too. Um, I like this page because I, I picked specific colors and like made it very limited palette. And drew a bunch of like weird stuff. I like this one too because it's just kind of pretty. Um, I'm not sure if I want my next sketchbook to be like this one again or if I want it to be more of like a like a practice sketchbook where I do like studies and drawings. Um, I was testing out all my pens, getting rid of ones that were old and not not working anymore, just seeing which ones actually work, which ones don't. Um, this page was just another doodle page. I think I had people over or like some family was over. So I was just like doodling while I listened to conversations. Um, and then I like to fill the background in with like a marker to make the page feel a little more complete. Not a huge fan of this, but I like this little cat. I don't think I use reference for any of these except for the flowers, which was in front of me because we were outside. Um, I like this little beetle. Not a fan of really anything else on this page. This is not good. Um, the eggs are okay, I guess. I like this page a lot. I just used like a gel pen and pulled up some cat reference photos and then like added stuff to it and just tried to draw freely without sketching first and I was happy with the results because I just like really focused on the references and tried to get all the shapes right and stuff. This is a cat wearing a mushroom costume <laughs> based on a photo. Another page sort of like that, um, but I didn't fill this. Yeah, another like more art blocky page. I like this drawing of my dog. This kind of looks like her. Um, I like the way I use the pencil crayons here. The way I rendered it is like something I, I really like. This sort of look where it's like slightly blended, slightly not blended, layered, very hatching, very like line, very, very linear. Cause it's like, instead of just shading, you do lines. Um, I like that a lot. This page is all right, um, drew my dog. Like that part looks like her, but then I kept messing up the head and like chest area. I find the chest area of dogs a bit difficult to draw. I saw this on Pinterest and wanted to draw it cause it was just a chick in a little skirt. Um, this is like a lizard, a bee, and some swans, sleeping cat. I like this page. Um, I had fun drawing this dog. I like the colors here, these little cats, bird. This is not really that good, but it's fine. Um, I like the way that these eyes turned out. I think at this point I knew my sketchbook was almost done. So I was trying to like fill it kind of fast, 
Um, this was based on a drawing, but I stylized it a lot. I think I drew this myself, I think. I'm not sure if that was based on anything. This is my dog again. Um, these little heads just like working on my style. I like to color backgrounds with pencil crayon. That seems to be the theme in the sketchbook. <laughs> a lot of it is like that. This is a pencil shaving. Bunch of random doodles. Um, I think these are all from photo reference, just trying to draw stuff. I kind of like the way my style is going with like faces and stuff. It's kind of like simplified. This was in my most recent video, so if you watched that, you would have seen me draw all this. Not a huge fan of it, to be honest, but um, yeah, I guess I was like feeling kind of rusty throughout this sketchbook. But there were some days where I just felt like I could draw well. Like this page, I, I like the way this cat turned out, and like this one, I like the paw. I like this one, I like that one. This day, not so much. Tried to draw someone like, like sitting in a, from like a reference and I just like rushed it and it's not too good. Um, but yeah, I still like, I like this page. And the last page, I don't really know what this is. I tried to draw this dog and it didn't really work out and I drew this other dog and this other dog and two people sitting. I think in my next sketchbook, I wanna work on my people more and work on just like drawing better, but I also, I might just keep it the same. I'm not sure. There's just certain things that I feel very rusty with when I try to draw. And I'm not really sure like if I wanna really practice a lot or just do the same sort of sketchbook, but we'll see. I'm not sure which sketchbook I will choose next, but I'm excited to start a new sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I think I learned a lot in this sketchbook and this really helped me get back into sketching because during school, I really fell out of touch with that. Um, I remember when school started, I would finish a sketchbook every three months, but then after that, it was like one sketchbook took me a year to fill, which is not good. Um, but that's because I was drawing for assignments instead of actually sketching for fun. And that's never, that's never fun to only draw for an obligation and not for fun. And sketching always makes me feel less rusty and I come up with some of my best ideas in sketchbooks. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm excited to start the next sketchbook. I'm glad this one is done. Another sketchbook in the in the records. And I'll see you in my next video. It's time for another sketchbook tour. I started this one, I think, oh, I don't remember when I started this. I think it was just before Inktober. All these stickers on the, on the front are from my store. I just slapped on some misprinted ones. I think I finished the sketchbook pretty quickly. I'm excited to start the next one. I don't know what sketchbook I'm going to use. I'm gonna to have to go through them all, maybe in a video. It is also extremely windy outside right now, so you might hear some noises. There's a wind warning and it's kind of crazy. All right, let's get into the tour. I'm very excited about this sketchbook. So this first page here was just me trying out different brush pens. Um, because I was starting October soon and I was going through all my black ink pens seeing what kind of marks I could make and I threw away all of the dried out ones. Um, here's another page doing some more sketching. I think my window is like rattling from the wind. Um, I think I was, I might have filmed this but I'm not really sure. These are sticky notes that I custom ordered with like my website on the bottom to get like free shipping on like a business card order. <laughs> some little animal sketches. I like the way these turned out. Some more animal sketches. I don't know what I was really preparing for for this. I think I was just kind of doodling. Um, I really like drawing animals if you don't know. I just think they're really fun to draw. Um, the fur is fun to draw. There's so many different kinds of animals and I think animals are really cute. So that's why I like to draw them. <laughs> This was day one of Inktober where I would plan out the drawing here and draw it here. So a bunch of planning for the frogs. And then I did this and I actually turned this into a print. It looks like this. It's also on my store. This was day two slime. Um, anything you see like this is gonna be Inktober. I'm not gonna like explain it every single time. Um, I was sketching it out here. I decided I didn't like the way this one turned out and then I overworked it. So I redid it and I like this one better. These are some weird blobfish drawings and I was doing a thumbnail for Hyde. This was Hyde. Some random doodles. Um, I think I turned this one into a sticker or something. This actually became a Patreon print, which was pretty cool. 
to turn some of these drawings into something. Some pelicans. Um, I was struggling with this a lot, I remember, because I just like was really doubting myself. I don't know why, I just couldn't decide on anything and I didn't know what to do. And I was like, oh, everything I'm drawing is bad and this is so basic and boring and like I was like really down on myself that day, but I think it turned out fine. This is a big snake loop. Um, I colored in the background, did some pencil. The pages are a bit empty here because I wanted it to be blank to post it on Instagram. Um, a goat. I always call this a bunny because of the ears, but it's a goat and she's just walking through the forest. Um, some little like planning sketches and the final. Turtles eating some lettuce and then the final. I like, um, throughout this sketchbook I discovered that I really like pencil crayon for sketching and I use it all the time now. Um, I didn't really like this one too much. Kind of a messed up page. Had a lot of excess ink here that I was dealing with and kind of smeared it around. Um, some random doodles because I wanted to fill the page with things. Um, I don't know if I turned this into anything. I think this got turned into something. Just sketching. Um, this was another Inktober. I think I used a Prismacolor color race on this. Um, yeah, this was based off of my fish. If he was like a woodland critter because I always draw like squirrels and frogs and stuff as like woodland creatures, but why not a fish? Even though they live in water, he can, he can be a woodland creature as well. Some animal sketches. I think I'm getting better at drawing certain animals. I was drawing this from reference, um, from some random like TikTok that I saw. A little sketch of a ferret or a weasel or something. More sketches. Um, this is a water bear or tardigrade, and that was one of the Inktober days that I did. Cat skeletons. I don't really remember remember why I was doing this. I think it was for a Inktober day as well. I like this one too. I think this one is kind of cute. Some beetles. I think the one I posted was this. I can't remember what this was supposed to be. I think it was Buzz. Also for Inktober, these are the ones I didn't go with. I was very like hard on myself with Inktober. I was like, oh, this is not good enough, not good enough, not good enough. This. That's the one. But I still like, I think this one is fine. This one is kind of messy. I don't like the line quality. But I like the one that I ended up with too. Some sketches. This was going to be an Inktober day. I think it was. Like both of these were like teeth or something. Planning for another Inktober. It's, it's hindsight is always 2020 when I'm in my sketchbook because I'll look back at things I thought that were like the best compared to something else. And I'm like, that's actually not as good as what I did before. Like, I think this is a good drawing, but I went with this, which is way more stiff and not as good. Um, messed up face thing i don't really know another messed up version of this and then i drew this big worm and tried to add some color so it didn't seem so empty um this was pointy or sharp or i don't really know i don't remember what, what this day was but i drew a hedgehog for it i like um the line quality on this and i like that one as well some drawings from photos. I wanted to get better at drawing like clothes and casual stuff and like, you know, shoes and just like trying to like keep up with my people drawing skills because I've been drawing a lot of animals. Another day, I don't really remember what this was, but I like the pencil crayon hatching that I did. I like to use it to describe the form by like going in the direction that the form and the planes are, are moving. I think that is fun. These are the sketches. I'm actually like quite happy with um, the sketches that I've been doing. This is another Inktober day. I think it was neck or something. So I gave this bird a little turtle neck, long turtle neck. And then I, I allowed myself to use color and I was having a lot of fun on this page. I think it was just so much fun. I felt very freed and I really liked the way that this turned out. This is like my most liked post on Instagram now. I think it has like 16,000 likes. And I was so shocked that it like took off like that. 
it's just a frog with wings and it took me like 10 minutes to do probably well maybe like a half hour for all of them and i was like whoa i guess people really like this maybe i should turn this into a sticker for my next store update um because i want to update that regularly i like this one too <laughs> like i just think that could just be a sticker let me know if you agree i was trying to draw some moths um but i just ended up going with this instead and i really like this and i might also turn this into a sticker i think the colors are really nice and vibrant and I just had a lot of fun with the colors. Like, pencil crayon is so good. And I've been seeing other people use pencil crayon a lot as well. And I just think it's like... I was I heard another artist talk about this, but it's just very good for, like, doing scribbly sketches and having, like, a lot of detail and also, like, controlled mess. I don't really know. But I, I think pencil crayon is so, is so fun to use for me right now. Um, this was Tusk's. And I like the way this one turned out. This one's a little too stiff. You can kind of tell it wasn't so warmed up. This one's okay. I've been trying to figure out how I want to draw this little bird that I um, created, like back when I did hide with the little bird in the tree. This little guy just made out of brush strokes, I think is really fun to explore. Not a huge fan of this page. Feels very forced, not like a lot of effort was put in. This was supposed to be for huge eyes, but it just kind of became a sketch page, I didn't really do much with this, but I don't think it's bad. It's just like a very exaggerated style for me. Um, some drawings from photos from Pinterest as, as usual. Chameleon for huge eyes, I think. And another failed chameleon attempt. Drawing from a photo, I like the way that the lines turned out and how I drew the mouth, I think is kind of interesting. I almost used this for an Inktober day. This was Inktober. Um, it was like shy or frail. I think it was frail. I like adding blush to people's faces with marker. I think it's, it can add a lot to the sketch. Um, some more doodles. I think this was from a photo where I saw a shirt with these like really huge ruffles on it and I liked it. And I liked the way I drew the, the posture of that character. These little sheep are cool too, I think. And this random flower, it's fun to just draw a flower. If you don't know what to draw, you just, you just draw a flower. Um, I did this pumpkin first and I was like, oh, that's not very good. <laughs> like it's not a very good pumpkin, but I like this one because of the way I used the brush strokes to kind of define the form of the pumpkin. And I think it's just better than this. This is me trying to remember what the settings on my camera does because I got a new camera at this point, and I'm using it to film right now. This was shy. I, I like the concept of this. I don't like the execution though. I think my line work is a little strange. It's a little too thin in areas. Um, I like these little cats. I think people will like these too, and they might make good stickers one day. I always love thinking of sticker designs. It's so windy outside, oh my goodness. I like this little beetle, but this is heavily inspired from someone else's drawing, so it's not my own idea. But I like the way that the cheap markers turned out on it. This is from a drawing, this is from the same- oh, this is from a photo. This is from the same photo. Some leaves, I was practicing leaves. Because I find I default to drawing the same leaf shapes over and over. I wrote drawing is hard because I was struggling to like pay attention to what I was seeing and like observe it because a huge part of drawing is not actually drawing, it's it's like looking and observing and making sure you're seeing the form correctly before you put the pencil down. And I have a habit of drawing before I've looked too closely. Little random cat to fill the space. Oh, and I carved my pumpkin like this, but then I saw a lot of people did this pumpkin. I think it was trending or something. I don't really know. Some more drawings from photos, little creature thing. A girl with a frog head, which I think is weird, but cool. From a, from a photo, from a photo. I just like to do life drawing to keep up with my people drawing skills because I don't really draw them in final illustrations anymore. Like, I will. I'll, I'll still do it. I just haven't in a while. More of the same kind of thing from a photo, 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 photo. Just on Pinterest. Um, you've probably seen like some of the more popular ones already and you might have even tried to draw them before. I like this goose head. I think that could be a nice sticker too. Um, little froggies, these flowers, um, I didn't really finish those. I like this page, I did this quite recently actually. 
and there's still a lot of pages left. I really like this dog sketch and I like the way the watery gouache looks on this page, especially on top of the pencil crayon. Um, I also asked people what I should draw and someone said a penguin, I drew that and I drew a frog and a frog. Um, these little cats. Yeah, drawing animals is a lot of fun for me. I like this page too because of the colors. I started off by painting the whole background pink and green and then I sketched on top of it and I kind of did that with these pages too. And it kind of just like adds a lot of life to your sketches if you like color in the background first. Then you have something to work off of that isn't just white and it kind of like, it kind of makes everything look more interesting and it just, it, it gives you a different starting point than you're used to and it, it can, it can create some cool ideas. I want this to be a sticker so badly, dog on a skateboard and it just says sniff. Maybe that, I don't really know. I, I think this one is cooler. This is from a photo, cat wearing sunglasses, from a photo of cats snuggling a bunch of grapes that I just drew because I wanted to. This was some crayon practice, some more people drawing practice. Um, yeah, I got a box of crayons from my mom and because I had like this huge box, but she wanted to like trade me for it or something. She was using the crayons to make this, she was melting them down to make something. So she gave me like the nice box and I gave her my like old box of crayons. And then I tried to like, and then I tried to do some drawings with just crayon. And I do a lot of other crayon, you'll see that soon. Drawing some moths. I like to add marker behind sketches. It just gives a lot of life to the page. This is from a photo, of course. So is this, but this one doesn't look very good because I was kind of rushing it. Um, but I think this turned out kind of dynamic and cool. I was on a video call with my friends, so I just really quickly, like, really badly sketched out the interface of the, of the call. And I started putting some stickers on here from sticker app that they gave me for free. Just because I wanted to put them somewhere, I didn't really want to throw them away. I think this is a statue, and, and it's a photo of a statue that I drew. And it was pretty fun. Um, I did some little marker details, a tree. Tried to draw like this building that's in Minecraft. Cause I've been playing a lot of Minecraft and looking at like screenshots of other people's builds. And I wanted to try drawing one, but then I was like, ah, I'm not really in the mood to draw that right now. This is a long worm with a little hat. I think it's really cute. I just really like this. This is from a photo, um, not from photos. I took my time and really tried to draw these shoes from a photo reference and I think um, that they turned out well. And this was from a photo, but I drew the dress badly. And I have a bunch of these like animal stickers, so I just kind of slapped them in my sketchbook and I wanted to draw the animal beside it, but then I didn't end up actually doing that. Um, these were like, I think I was using lineofaction.com, which is like a random generator for life drawing. And I was just drawing some people from it and trying to like get back into the groove of drawing people. A little bunny sketch. Um, I was doing some marker and crayon in the backgrounds of these and more animal stickers that I slapped on the page. I like the purple and green combo. Oh, this was me planning out new stickers to go on my envelopes. So like branding stuff basically and like a bunch of like stacks of animals, a thank you cat, a dog with a lot of legs. Um, just like a you have mail or like a caterpillar carrying mail or snail mail. Um, a girl with birds all behind her head because that's kind of like what my profile photo is. This little bird that I was drawing a lot in this sketchbook. Just a bunch of stuff and I colored in the background to make it look more full. Um, I was drawing these crayon landscapes. I think the this one turned out the best and the rest are kind of like not that good. Crayons are hard to work with because once you get wax on the paper, it's hard to draw anything on top of the wax. So if you start with a light color, you can't really put a dark color on it unless you press really hard and the flakes get everywhere. I like these this uh, blueberry sketch though and chocolate chip because I was thinking about like pancakes and how Blueberries and chocolate chips are just like the two best things to put in pancakes, in my opinion. Um, some little swatches of marker is just playing with the colors. 
was letting myself draw whatever and I was also like really pushing myself to draw a lot because I wanted to finish this sketchbook. So I ended up doing some things I don't normally do like these like little landscape thumbnails. I went to a website and I, I, I looked up like random landscape generator or something and then all these random photos would show up and I would draw the landscapes and add little bits of marker. I mostly just used pencil for these and it was pretty fun. Um, and this is the last page. I just slapped more of those stickers on. I don't really like to draw on the last page because it gets all like stained. I just don't, I'm too eager to start the next sketchbook. I don't usually do a nice drawing on the last page. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this sketchbook. I definitely enjoyed filling it and I'm excited to start my next sketchbook. Let me know what the last sketchbook you filled was and what you've been drawing lately if you're an artist. If you're not, just let me know some of your hobbies or any creative stuff you do. I would like to hear that in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching this sketchbook tour. Put a lot of work into this book and I'm excited for the next one. Hi everyone. So this video is going to be a sketchbook tour. I started this sketchbook last year in like December or something and it's taken me so long to fill it because I've been really busy and I've had a lot of client work to do and I just haven't been sketching as much um, over the last year. And also because it's so big, this is a huge sketchbook for me. And I haven't started a new sketchbook in so long, it feels like. I usually like to fill my sketchbooks every three months, but this one has taken like almost a year, which is kind of a lot for me. So I'm really excited to show you what's in here and to start my new sketchbook, which will be really exciting. So let's just get into it. So the sketchbook is from Arteza, but I haven't been able to find it. Um, where I got it. So it's like kind of been out of stock, I guess, or they don't make this size anymore. Um, but I started this sketchbook, yeah, a long time ago. I wish I wrote the day I stuck in some wrapping paper that I liked. I think this was from like Christmas or something. Just did some, some like headshot drawings in like pencil on this page. This page, I was doing some thumbnails for the December print for Patreon, so that kind of shows how long ago this was. I feel like it was like November maybe. I was planning out the stickers and thumbnails for the prints and that's what this page is all about basically. The thing about this sketchbook that I wasn't a huge fan of is that every other page is a different texture. So here it's like more smooth and you can't really erase on it or use watercolor. But the other sides would be really nice texture, really good quality paper. So that's why I probably wouldn't recommend this sketchbook. This was me planning for my shop update of like last spring or something. And I was trying to think of different sticker ideas and different things I wanted to add to my store. And that was a lot of fun. And this was my first ever sketchbook print page for Patreon. So every month on Patreon, I actually like take a bunch of sketches from my sketchbook and scan them in and turn them into a print and send them out to people. And I still do that. I might go back to this page and make some, some stickers based off of it because I think these are kind of cute. Um, this page was me doing a bunch of like face drawings because I wanted to practice and I kind of did some like watercolor background to seal in the graphite because that helps the graphite not like smudge too much. And this was for a video of how to fill your ways to fill your sketchbook video where I take your prompts and I use them to fill a sketchbook page. I was really happy with how all these like heads turned out and I, I like this spread. Um, more heads, more random drawings. I feel like I was a little art blocked this time. Well, maybe not. I was kind of getting into my like mushroom phase, my like mushroom obsession. Um, what is this? Okay, I think, yeah, there's just like some things I taped in. Um, I tried oil pastel here and I haven't really used it since cause it just takes too long to like set and it never really fully sets and it's too messy, but I do want to play around with oil pastel a bit more because it, it is fun and you can make some like cool textures for sure. Um, I wanted to do some black pen doodles on this page and that's what I did was just like plants. I think I looked at photos of plants and I just tried to follow them with um, black pen. Some drawings from life. I taped in some, um, Wrapping paper again. Oh, I missed a page. You might actually recognize these if you've been on my store. This turned into the frog mushroom print and this turned into the crow print. And here's another one I tried to do of like an ox or something, but it never really worked. 
and some other mushrooms I was doing and I had a lot of fun painting these like I feel like I kind of figured something out about watercolor while I did these and I was just in a groove and I remember just really enjoying the process of these. So this crow one turned into this and this mushroom frog one turned into this and this is a really popular print it sells out really fast well, not sells out, but it sells really fast and I'm almost sold out of it now. I need to get more. This page, I just did some sketches. I remember drawing all these ducklings while I was over at someone's house, just like sitting at the table and drawing some, some, some things in my sketchbook. And I just filled this page and it, it was just a fun time. Some more random sketches, like pencil crayons, stuff like that. Oh, I had a lot of fun on this page. Um, this was a really fun video to make. I really enjoyed it and I love the way that the sketches turned out. And it's actually like one of the most popular videos I've posted lately on my channel. So that was a lot of fun. It was another fill your sketchbook type of video. And then down here, I took a really thick marker and I just started drawing mushrooms. And it was a pretty relaxing process to help me like study the forms of the mushrooms. And I was like very into mushrooms at this time. I don't know if this was like, I think this was earlier this year. And this is when I did the mushroom dog print um, some more dark pen doodles and some like sort of like environmental sketches. Um, just a bunch of foliage. I was really into drawing foliage with like markers and thick pens because using thicker pens kind of lets you like study the forms and not worry about it being perfect because you can't erase pen. So if you draw something in pen first, it kind of forces you to be more thoughtful about your lines. Drawing all these cats was a lot of fun and all these little bean frogs around this mushroom dog painting. I remember struggling so much with this and hating the way this turned out, but it actually looks fine to me now. Perspective is really like a powerful thing with art because if you work on something for too long, you're gonna start to hate it. But I think this is totally fine, honestly. I glued in some more um, wrapping paper. I remember really liking this page. I love the way all these like dog sketches turned out and I was even drawing my own dog here. Her name is Olive and she's very cute. I think I was playing Spirit Farer at this time. So this is the character from Spirit Farer. And I really like this page. I think this page turned out well. I just wish I filled it more, but this sketchbook was so big. The entire time I was using it, I was regretting like, well not regretting, but I was like, oh my gosh, this sketchbook is gonna take me so long to fill. But now I'm just so excited to start my next sketchbook. Um, there's something like so special about starting a new sketchbook and having that like fresh start that I'm really excited about. Not big on this one. I like the way this one turned out. Um, this is fine. It's not really my favorite thing. This was for a video, another fill your sketchbook video. Some more doodles. I actually like the way this page turned out. Um, I think some of this ended up on a Patreon sketchbook page. Um, I don't remember what this drawing is, honestly. I think it's like a skeleton. Oh no, it's an alligator. Sometimes I just like to open Pinterest and find like random animals and then draw them like alligators or like random like animal photos. Little birds, I like the way these guys turned out. I thought I put this on a sketchbook page for a Patreon, but I don't think I did put that one. Um, also, I did not draw this or this or this or this. Um, there's a lot of like guest drawing in this book and you'll see that soon. I like these little like animal squares. I think it'd be cool to do something more with that, um, but I'm not sure. I'm not a huge fan of the way this page turned out. I think it was a bit forced, um, but it did end up going on a sketchbook page. Like I like the way this turned out, but the rest of them are just kind of like, you could tell I wasn't really like feeling it. I think this is the middle of the book now. Um, oh, more oil pastel. I guess I did use more oil pastel. I thought that was the only time. I wrote what here. Um, drew some like foliage and I was like scratching it out with pencil crayon and just trying to like make it work The next page I did some cats with oil and I actually really like the way this cat turned out. I think it's really nice um, I think they both look cool like oil pastels are pretty fun to work with Honestly, I just don't like the mess So like I have to feel like cleaning up a mess when I'm done with them They're just so hard to get off your hands and like they get on each other and they just get all over the place Any tips for that would be helpful there's a siren outside now. I really like this spread. Um, I think I did this for a video. No, this was just like a draw with me. Yeah, this was a draw with me video and I was really, really happy making that video. Everything was turning out well and I was like pretty proud of the results. I wanted this guy to be a print, but he never was. Maybe I need to make him into a print. 
Um, ballpoint pen drawings of like random faces. I think it was from like the 100 heads challenge, but I didn't actually do 100. I just wanted to draw some of the references because they were pretty cool references. I like sketching with ballpoint pen. I think it gives some really cool results and I really want to do like a full sketch with a ballpoint pen. This was me trying to think of my most recent shop update, trying to think of a bunch of sticker ideas and like figuring out where I'm going to order stuff from and how much it was going to cost and stuff like that. Um, and some of these actually turned into stickers like the bread chicken and like a duck that was running. Yeah, this one turned into a sticker. Um, and this is like how I try to come up with ideas. I just like draw a bunch of random doodles on a page and I keep drawing until I kind of come up with some cute things. So I remember on this page, I just wanted to draw a bunch of corsets because I just kind of felt like it and it was pretty fun to draw them. Um, some like random animal doodles on this page, drawing some more like people drawings, some little rats. I think this rat is really cute actually. I want him to be a sticker because he's just like, he only has three legs visible. And this one's really cute too. Like it'd be fun to make those into stickers or something. Some more animal drawings, lots of capybaras. I got into capybaras the last little bit and I think these turned out pretty well. Like I'm pretty happy with the way my animal sketches are going cause I really like drawing animals, figuring out better ways to like draw them and represent them and like simplify them from photos is always a lot of fun. And then drawing them um, without photos is fun too. And this was for a video I did I was drawing on a Pantone postcard and I still haven't continued that series because I like moved shortly after. This was done in another sketchbook that I pasted in here because I know I'm not gonna use that other sketchbook so I wanted to save the sketch in a different sketchbook. And this became a print. It became like a mushroom hair print that was for Patreon. And I think it's available on my store or it will be soon in the next update, which will probably come in the fall. Um, this page is just a bunch of squirrels and rats. I think I did it for a like draw with me video, which was fun. More capybaras, cause you know I love capybaras. Who doesn't? I really want to see one in real life, but I don't know if there's any like in my area. Like I want to go to a capybara petting zoo. Um, but I like the way all these like sketches turned out. And this page was pretty fun. I think some of these sketches went on a sketchbook page for Patreon. Did it? I actually, I don't think it did. Um, this is like one of those pages where I was like doodling, but like nothing really felt right. Nothing was like sparking an idea. And here's a page of like little guys, a bunch of like little blobs, little shapes, just like little guys. And I did a print based off of little guys. And I think the next page, no, you'll, you'll see it soon. The light is moving so fast. I keep having to like move the sketchbook. Um, this is from a photo on Pinterest. I was trying to figure out how people draw frogs. So I redrew a frog drawing I saw. Um, these sunflowers were drawn from some actual sunflowers I had in my house. Um, I was drawing a bunch of pansies. Wait, these are pansies, right? Um, because they're one of my favorite flowers and some fish. And all these seagulls were drawn while I was sitting on a beach surrounded by seagulls. So yeah, I like this page. It became a sketchbook page for Patreon and it's pretty cool. Um, I had a lot of fun on this page. I was on a trip with some friends at a cottage, so good memories there. Um, I like this, the way this page turned out. Just a bunch of like graphite pencil sketches that kind of like look nice together and some like text. It's just like a nice example of like a sketchbook page for me. Like a bunch of little doodles, some more high effort drawings, and then some like planning and thumbnails. It's just a little bit of everything. And I enjoy that a lot. A mouse licking a popsicle. I think this was from Pinterest, another little mouse. Um, I was gonna film this for a video, but I never really finished it. I did not draw this. There's a big blank space there, but that kind of happens a lot in this sketchbook. Well, it doesn't happen that much. Okay, so this sketchbook, I was filling the page with other people and we were all drawing like little characters and little guys. See if you can figure out which like section I drew, like which one which ones did I draw and which ones did I not draw? <laughs> There's three different people drawing stuff on this page. And sometimes I would see what someone else drew and I would try to redraw it in my own style and we'd like take each other's ideas. And when I was drawing my like little guy's print, 
I was taking some inspiration from this page because I was basically like harvesting ideas from them. <laughs> Um, this was a draw with me video, tiny houses made of everyday things. So we have like a plush bunny house, an acorn house, flower pot house, trash can house, watering can house, cardboard box house, backpack house. And I'm trying to figure out tote bag designs, spoilers, spoilers. I, I, I like this spread. It's like a more recent spread, but I think it's um, pretty like reminiscent of fall. Every time September 1st rolls around, I just get really excited about fall. And my next Patreon print is gonna be this cute, like, little cat sitting in a, in a sunflower, and it's gonna be very fall themed, and I'm really excited about that one. So I really like this page. I've been trying to plan out a tote bag design, um, and some washi tape design, some random doodles. I was trying to figure out what I want the next print to be. Um, I was feeling like a black cat sort of thing. Some sunflowers have been inspiring me lately, so that's what this is about. This is the thumbnail of the next um, Patreon print, and I was trying to draw my dog yesterday. So this is her in a bunch of different like angles. This doesn't really look like her, but it also kind of does. Um, this kind of looks like her. They all sort of look like her, but her likeness I'm still working on, trying to like capture her likeness. And I just really like sketching with graphite pencil. If I had to choose one material, at least in this moment, it would be graphite. Um, just because it's like such a like versatile medium and I like how soft it looks and you can do light lines and darker lines and it's just a really useful sketching tool. There's a reason why pencils are like the tool that most people start with drawing because it's just so accessible and it looks so nice. Like you can make it look, you can do a lot with it. This spread I did the other day and I realized like I haven't done like a chunky marker spread in a while or drawn like outfits. So I wanted to draw some fall outfits from Pinterest. Some of them worked out, some of them not so much, but I just like doing a big messy page like this and I filled in the background to make it a little more fun. And that's the second last page. And the last page is this little frog and he says bye. Cause I never like to draw on the last page of my sketchbook. I'm just at that point, I'm like, I need to move on. I'm done with this. Um, here's that wrapping paper I had that I was sticking into the pages, but um, I didn't use it all up. So overall, I, I really like the art I made in the sketchbook, but I just remember the whole time being like a little bit uninspired at how big the book was and how long it was gonna take me to fill. So I'm really glad it's done and I'm really excited to start my next sketchbook. It's gonna be smaller, basically like, like a square of this. And that shouldn't take me as long to fill and I want to sketch more and draw more things and keep improving my style. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which sketch was your favorite, which spread was your favorite. And if you're working on a sketchbook right now, let me know how it's going and if you're close to being done or if it's a new sketchbook, um, I would love to hear that too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Hi everyone. So this video is going to be a sketchbook tour. I've been working on this sketchbook for a while. I don't even know how long it's been, but I'm really excited to show you what I've done in here. I think there's a lot of cool stuff and I think I made a lot of progress in here. So let's waste no time and jump right into the tour. So page number one, I think I did a video of this. It's just a bunch of like little drawings. I like this little dog the best, I think. I also like this dog, it looks like my dog. I think it's a pretty nice looking sketch. I like all the textures and lines. This kind of set the theme for this sketchbook because I use these markers so much. They're the Ohuhu uh, double pointed water base markers. And they're some of my favorite markers. They actually sent me a bunch and I got some as a gift for Christmas a long time ago and that's how I knew I liked them. Um, this is not sponsored, but that's how I have so many. Um, I think this was Geltober, which is like Inktober, if you know what that is. This page is kind of empty, honestly. Um, I think I was drawing a bunch of plushies from Pinterest. And I really like the way these frogs turned out. I think they did really well on my Instagram and I always have a soft spot for these. And this one turned into a sticker, um, sticker on my shop. Yeah, this page is honestly kind of empty looking. I think I did a lot more fuller spreads in this, which is nice. Um, I really like these little doodles. I kind of forgot that they were in here and how small they were because I turned these into prints. But I think this duck is really funny. Um, I do a lot of drawings from Pinterest and like reference photos, but I also do a lot of drawings just from my head. Like there's definitely a mix of the two. Like I think this was just from my head for Geltober. Um, so were these, but I think these were from references because I was trying to like draw better dogs and wolves and stuff. Or maybe they're foxes. I honestly can't really tell. 
more Geltober stuff. This kind of transferred a lot, which is kind of sad. I thought that I sprayed it, but no, I definitely didn't. That came right off onto my finger. Um, I wasn't really feeling this page too much. Like this seemed kind of forced to me. It looks a little stiff. Doesn't really like have like a natural feeling to it. I like these little guys. I use them, my markers for these. A duck with some plants growing off. Um, this actually turned into a print, which was cool. And I like these little swatches of like me testing the color of the marker before I actually make things with it. I think it's cool to just like see the palette beside the art. And I like how on this mushroom I didn't do like a harsh line around the edge. I just, I let it be unoutlined. I think I tend to over outline things because when you go in to outline something, you don't have to put a line around every single contour on the entire drawing. You can pick and choose and that kind of lets it be less flat. And there's an airplane outside right now and it's pretty loud. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this page either. I think the daily drawing challenges are not really for me anymore, like Inktober and all that stuff. I don't really think it's for me because like, I don't know, I end up more frustrated than happy, I think. Um, but I do really like the way this turned out. I think it's really cute. Like I, I should turn this into something. I always think like, oh, what can I turn this into? Can I turn this into a sticker or a print? I do like these little plants that I did down here, but these just feel flat and not that interesting to me, honestly, in this page. You can kind of tell I like wasn't really feeling it because there's lots of like random small unfinished sketches. I like this little guy. I, I did spray this page, so it shouldn't really come off too badly, but it does a little bit. Um, and these sleepy ducks were really fun to draw. I should have added more color to this page and like drew other things, but I think I got better at like filling the whole space of the page later on. Um, but I really like the way I rendered this. I think it's pretty cute. And it was really fun to use pencil and just like go in and do all the details. Some deers, I really liked the way these turned out. Um, I think they're pretty fluid sketches. I should have done more on the page, but it's honestly fine. Like, I'm not gonna beat myself up about that. I really like this ferret page. I can't remember if this was even a video. Did I, did I film this? I don't remember, but it was so much fun drawing cute little ferrets. I used a lot of reference photos so I could like get their poses. And I turned this into a sketchbook print. I don't even know if that's on my store yet, but it was for Patreon a while back. But yeah, I like this spread. I wish I had more on it, but that's kind of the going theme, I, I guess. This was also for Geltober and Mutation. So there's like a cat frog and a bird frog, which is really weird. And this cute little turtle. I got to do more turtle stuff. I got a request from someone to do more turtle things and I think I should. I really like this really fluffy chicken. It's so fun to flip back through this and remember all the things that I drew and all the stuff that I forgot that I drew and like getting ideas from like your past self. I think that's the whole point of sketchbooks. It's like keeping track of all your ideas. These are really cute. Like I'll turn these into something, man. Note to self. I like this page. I think it's interesting when I only use one media or one medium on the entire page. I think this was just a mechanical pencil on the entire page. No color, nothing. It's really fun to do that. It's pretty relaxing. I, I think I pressure myself to bring in a bunch of colors and like other media, but you don't always have to do that. You can just use one thing and like, it doesn't have to be crammed. Like art can have space around it. It's okay to leave some blank areas in your sketchbook. I don't think like, it's a bad thing, necessarily. It's just what you want to get out of it. I really like this page and it turned into a pretty nice sketchbook print. It's actually one of my favorite sketchbook prints that I've done. I like this little guy. Um, it's really fun to draw animals in like cloaks and hats and like human, human clothing. It's pretty fun. It's my favorite thing to do and I'm going to keep doing it till the day I die. Cause it's just like, it's so fun to draw animals in clothes and like these these little greyhound dogs in their winter coats. There's nothing cuter than that. This was a video of how to fill your sketchbook or like ways to fill your sketchbook where I have a bunch of prompts, pull a random one out, do the whole page for it. This was people inspired by different animals slash plants. So this is Pilea or Pilea. I don't know how you say that. Um, this is a red squirrel girl and I just drew a frog. They're not supposed to be like super uptight challenges. It's just something to get the ball rolling. Haven't done this in a while. I don't know if I'm gonna do more. Um, I have like a whole playlist of, of these videos, but I find the structured videos are harder for me to make um, because I think I make like better stuff when it's like more spontaneous so that it's something that I like am enjoying. And then the final product 
is better because like sometimes these do feel a little forced but of course I'm glad I did it and it's like it's nice to do a challenge and have like a video of me filling a sketchbook page. I like this spread. I think it's interesting. Um, sometimes I'll try to draw some faces because I used to draw exclusively faces in girls just because it was fun. I just like drawing flowy hair and like feminine things. It was just was very enjoyable to me and it still is. Um, but sometimes I like to draw them every once in a while because I get so caught up in the animals and the nature I forget about people and I think it's cool to see them like interacting in illustrations so maybe I should bring that back more but I, I try to draw things that I'm really feeling at the time because I produce my best work when I'm actually like really into it. Um, okay so you're gonna see a lot of Borzoi, Borzoi dogs? They're really long nosed dogs because they had like a real blow up on Instagram. Um, it got like, I think it has like 6 million views or something of these stupid little dogs, me drawing them. They're not stupid. They're really cute. I really like Borzois. So I did a bunch of them on this page and then people kept saying to draw more and to draw them with longer snout. So I drew like a ridiculous one and I just kept drawing them and it kind of took over my sketchbook for a few days. It was a pretty fun time. Um, it also really helped my Instagram get over 100,000 followers. It was like a milestone I wanted to reach for a while, and I've been able to surpass that. So thank you, Borzois. Um, I really like this page. I think it's really funny. It's just like there's so much emotion, you know? Um, and this one is actually a print you can get on my store right now. It's just like a little sketchbook print. I like doing sketchbook prints. I think they're fun because there's something so raw about sketches that I think appeals to a lot of people. Like who doesn't love sketchbooks? Like you're all watching a sketchbook tour right now. So I like doing sketchbook prints and like every month on my Patreon I do a new sketchbook print. That's like a five by seven. Um, and I think it's just really fun. Okay and this is like the longest nose of them all and it's kind of surrounded by random little doodles. And I think that's the end of it. I mean I might draw more later for fun but yeah, I made a whole bunch of videos about Borzois. You could find them on my Instagram if you want. Um, oh yeah, I was redesigning my Patreon tiers. Um, because I have two new tiers. I have a sticker tier and a print tier. Ignore these prices, these are not accurate at all. Um, but the print tier, you just get the prints, or the sticker tier, you just get the stickers, and the, the bundle tier, you get everything. So it gives a little more flexibility for people who still want physical rewards, but don't want to spend as much, or they don't want the print, or they don't want the sticker. And I think it's like a really good thing to have that there, and people seem happy about it, so that's good. Um, this was a sketchbook page for Patreon, and some little hairs. I love drawing hairs. I just think they're, they're really fun to draw. There's just something about them. Oh, and then a bunch more my hair phase and bunnies and stuff. Um, sometimes I post bunnies and people are like, those are actually hairs. And I'm like, I know, I'm just calling them bunnies for fun. I know that they're hairs. I really like this guy, I think he's pretty cute. And I used the mild liner. I used to think they were called midi liners. I don't know why. It's that blue highlighter by Zebra. The Zebra mild, mild liners. It is mild, not mid, because there's like an L in it. it. It's the name is debated. Um, this was a sketchbook print as well. It was pretty fun to do. I put too much effort into it, honestly, but it's fine. I think this was a video as well. And just a bunch of hairs. I kind of approach my Patreon like I'll, it, it's a good way to get me drawing every single month and producing a piece of art every single month. So whatever I choose the art to be, I tend to start to do that kind of stuff in my sketchbook. And then I use my preliminary stuff and my sketches to be the sketchbook print and then it goes with the art print of the month and then usually I get a sticker out of it too. And it's just a nice way to like have sort of like themes come and go in my art. I really like this guy. This was a day where I was like, I want to sketch. I'm going to sit down and draw a bunch of cool stuff. And I drew this and I was like, that's very muddy and overworked and not what I wanted. And I drew this guy and I like him, but the rust just wasn't really coming easily to me. So I just stopped for the day. Um, then I drew tons of frogs with this gel pen I found laying around. I swear my favorite art supplies are ones that I didn't even buy myself. I just find them because like they ended up in my stash somehow, but definitely from my parents or something, or like maybe my mom gave this to me a while ago. There's so many random markers I have and some of them I had no idea where they came from, but they're like so fun to use. A long squiggly dog. I want to 
make this into something. There's so many things in here I want to turn into stickers and stuff. I'm going to have shop updates coming soon with lots of new products soon. I'm not sure if I should split it into two updates, but we'll see. This was my otter page. I started to draw otters because I wanted to make an otter print and I realized, man, these guys are really hard to draw. Like, I, do I don't know how to draw them and make them not look like ferrets and stuff like that. Uh, Oh yeah, I want to draw something with a girl with like a frog on her head. I think that'd be funny to do. Um, yeah, but I, I like this guy. Also, let me know which like spread is your favorite out of this whole book. I'd be really interested to hear that. Um, let me know, please. Some frogs. This might have been around the time where I went to a frog kingdom. Not frog kingdom. I wish. What was it? It was just like a frog exhibit at this um, botanical garden near me. These are me trying to figure out frog stickers and just drawing, trying to draw the cutest frog I possibly can. Studies from people posing and sitting from Pinterest and trying to get better at drawing sneakers. Um, yeah, I really like this page. I don't remember if I filmed this or not, but I, I think it's really cool. The colors that I chose and this like weird little sloth guy and this weird little guy with the giant feet and this like weird thing. Um, I think this frog is pretty adorable and this one too. That's why I outlined them. More cute frogs holding stars, trying to draw otters, but they look kind of strange. Like I wasn't quite getting it yet. Oh yeah, here's the otter page. I decided to draw otters for, was it March? Yeah, it was March. And it was pretty fun. Yeah, so the rest of this is like all March basically, which is pretty cool. I had fun with this. I also got into the, I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation of this, the Karan Dash pastels. I got the Neo Color 2, which are the water soluble kind, and I want to get more so badly, but my wallet would not appreciate that. Oh, I did a random clip on this one of me like showcasing this marker and how much I really liked the ink inside of it, and it randomly blew up on Instagram. Well, it didn't like blow up, but it got like a few hundred thousand views, which I was like, whoa, okay. That video only took me a few seconds to make, so public service announcement. If you are trying to grow your art account, post reels and just post them about like random thoughts you have while you're drawing. Like, oh, I really like this marker. Make a reel about it. Like, oh, this this sketch turned out great. Make a reel about that too. That's kind of how I approach my social media. And I like drawing people every once in a while, just making sure I can still draw them. I, I feel like I need to prove it to myself every once in a while. Um, yeah. Because I just don't enjoy drawing them as much as animals. This page was not the greatest. It doesn't look too good, honestly. I don't like it, um, but I like this page. I was drawing from uh, poses from people and some more like Borzoi dogs. Um, yeah, I really like drawing dogs and I think I'm getting better and better at drawing animal anatomy, which is really exciting because I just want to keep improving in that sense and just keep getting better at drawing animals because if it's my favorite thing to draw, I want to be really good at it. I hope I didn't skip any pages because the pages are so thick sometimes I can't tell if it's one or two. Oh yeah, so here are the uh, pastels that I've been using and you can activate them all with water. A bunch of frog sketches here, some aquarium plants because I was really hyper fixated on aquariums at this time because I was setting up uh, another aquarium because I really like to keep a uh, shrimp, like the little freshwater shrimp. This is a cursed human cat hybrid thing. Um, just some more portrait practice just to prove to myself that I can still do it. And I really like the technique I did with this sketch here. I used my gray, like some random gray marker that I had and then I did pencil crayon on top and it kind of makes the pencil crayon stand out really nicely, which is a cool thing. And I tried to replicate it a few times, but the marker didn't dry fast enough. And then like, you can't really get pencil crayon to go down on like the damp surface. Um, a bug girl. And I was trying to draw some plants and using this like muted brown marker that I had and just trying to like doodle in the whole page, just like doodle with the supply and get acquainted with it. Cause I was really enjoying using that marker. Um, I quite like this page, but I think I overdid it with the colors honestly i did way too much background filling in but you know it's fun sometimes i'm not a huge fan of this sketch at all uh but the rest are okay i guess i like this one a lot because i think i laid the pencil down nicely um i got some faber castell polychromos 
and I really like them and I want to get a bunch more because they're not as soft as the Prismacolor Premier ones that I have and those ones have always bothered me how quickly they dull down and you can't really get as like fine a texture because they're so smooth but these ones are harder lead and it's easier to get fine details and I'm really excited to I just moved some tapes I'm really excited to uh, keep using them this page, I glued some things down because I was unhappy with some of the sketches I did. I like this face here. It's always fun to draw a female face. There's just something so fun about it. Um, drawing some skunks, some animals, um, a random portrait study from Pinterest, just trying to like keep up to date with my people drawing throughout this sketchbook and lots of capybaras. You'll see a capybara theme coming up again because April's print is, uh, is capybara themed. There's a cute little capybara sticker, capybara sketchbook print, and a capybara print. And the print did pretty well on Instagram. People seem to really like it. Yeah, here's me planning out some capybara stuff. I really want to meet one in real life. Um, it will happen one day. This is basically what the sticker looks like. And oh, it was so fun doing this page. I like the colors I used. Um, most of this turned into the sketchbook print, which is going to be pretty fun. I can actually just show you them right now. This is the print and this is the sketchbook print and you can see it's the same as that and these are the same like you can see where it comes from and you get this whole print and then you get this little capybara family in the rain. So cute. And the little sticker will be coming too. What is this page? I think I was just drawing a bunch of random animal heads that was showing up on Pinterest. Another like spread that I just used one marker and just drew whatever came up on my Pinterest feed just to like draw for the sake of drawing. Um, a shrimp, another shrimp, pine cone, lots of like random little weird animals on that page. Nothing too special honestly and the last page in my sketchbook. I filmed this last week. Um, I actually think this is a pretty good way to sum up my sketchbook and to close it out. Um, Lots of critters, lots of markers, bold outlines. I think it's like a good closing point and I'm really excited to start my next sketchbook. That will be the next video. It will be me starting my new sketchbook. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So keep your eyes out for that. I really hope you enjoyed this sketchbook tour. I had a lot of fun in this one and I'm really excited to start the next one and see what kind of art I make. And I think there's a lot of cool things in here. And as always, let me know which spread or which page is your favorite. It's really interesting to hear what everyone prefers. Let me know if you're currently working on a sketchbook and how it's going and if you're close to finishing it or not. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video where I start my new sketchbook.